A lot going on here. I'm sure you can hear some of the things that are happening. Take a look right over here. You'll see crews are actually installing a new power line. They've been working on this for the past several hours, and they tell me they're actually going to be here until about 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. And then if you come this way, you'll also notice these cars down here. All of those cars were flooded out. That is actually a mechanic shop. Uh, they were working on cars that got flooded. And then if you take a look at this right here behind me, so we're at this creek. Now you can see there is a power line that is laying right over the creek. So you can imagine they had to cut the power, of course. But I can just take my finger and literally pop all of those because it's not ice at all. It's still just raindrops on the tree. Nothing here has really accumulated. I've seen some public works trucks driving around. So if you come back this way with me, you'll notice that the school is right here over my shoulder and the reason for that is because they're also going to have interns and they wanted to make it accessible for them don't be like me make sure you do have gloves when you leave because it is cold it is rainy we're here off of hendersonville road and if you take a look um it's a little lighter outside now take a look at the road there a lot of people have been yelling and cheering throughout watching the results people are huddled around some of the tvs here but we have with us right now mayor ray o'connell Packing meals one bag at a time. Gloria Lewis prepares these bags every day for kids who aren't getting enough food at home. Each day is a blessing because I can come to work and know that I'm packing up food for them to be able to have food for seven days. She's been with Buncombe County Schools since 2004, and she loves every second of her cafeteria job. Though she does miss having students come through her lunch line. Just to see their little smiling faces, if they're having a bad day, you can just say, hey, how you doing, you know? and just speak to them and give them that extra boost to have a good day. She still manages to boost their day because the meals she packs come straight to their door. All right, we're good. We got everything. Tony Shelton joins Gloria for the ride. They load up the school bus with enough food to last That's seven days for students. This is called the Rolling to Feed program. Now it's time for delivery. Most of their parents are working and only have one car, so they're it makes a lot of difference for all the little ones. They at least have food, you know. They bring the food to neighborhoods throughout Buncombe County, and the kids know to come outside when the bus arrives. Hey, how you doing, my babes? How many you need today? Gloria has the same energy with every student. Seeing them is also the highlight of her day. They love to come in and talk to you, and you can tell them, ask them how their day's going, and they also get to tell you how they're doing in school. I'll see you Monday. That's yours, baby. With students returning back to school, the bus won't be around as often, but Gloria's cheerful and giving spirit can be felt from almost anywhere. Boss, we are. I can't even get it up. Bye, you're welcome. Bye. Steve Dunn is a retired Navy veteran. This is the World War II version of the ship that I was on. I was on an LST. He keeps his military memorabilia on display in his Swannanoa home near Asheville. Often, he takes a look back at old photos. <laughs> I, uh, I literally was a country boy. Baby-faced child, we had to have our, our sideburns cut just in that, just in that fashion. This was, this was regulation. Steve is physically unable to work right now because of recent surgery, so that means he is also on a fixed income. All I have is Social Security. But that doesn't stop him from enjoying his hobby of modifying model cars. A 67 Plymouth GTX, this is what they call a Hemi engine. He spends time painting the car parts, swapping out engines, changing the wheels, and so much more. It's the creativity of it. I, I don't like, I like to put my own, my own twist on it. Even still, he faces one challenge, consistently getting meals each day. Living alone, uh, I do like to cook, but I'm very limited on how much uh, I can afford. So he goes to Swannanoa United Methodist Church every week where he meets an organization called Food Connection. They get untouched leftover meals from restaurants or caterers and give them out to people in need. It is a beautiful thing to be able to just hand someone a meal and know that 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 meal, we eat 21 meals a week, right? That that meal, they didn't have to question where it came from or whether it was nurturing. Steve says he is grateful for their dedication to help people. And I feel very honored to have served our country in the military. And it is an honor for me to have these people serving our community. And he'll be back to get food for the next week. See you Saturday. Saturday. Saturday in the park.